How do you look at things like cancellations or retakes if a student has like three or four t- takes on the record? What, is there like a certain upper limit that you consider to cross the line in terms of being more unreasonable? Uh, that's something that we're kind of, that's a challenge for um, that's new for us because they used to limit it to three times in a two year period then they changed it to no limits. And now there's back to a limit. And I'm glad that there is a limit for a couple of reasons because I've seen five or six. Um, and I, I just think that's excessive. I really think that students should try to go in with the one and done mentality, but three, I think that they should keep in there as kind of a faux limit. If I see three LSATs, that's not that big of a deal, especially if there's that progressive change and they, you know, they've they've changed how they were preparing and things like that. Um, I, I don't have a problem with cancellations at all because in my mind, that person was realistic with themselves and they knew, okay, that score wasn't the best that I could, could give. Um, that shows a little bit of dedication, uh, absentees, you know, are a little bit concerning. So again, I'd probably want to, explain that you know because things happen life happens um but i also too when it comes to deciding whether you're going to take it again you go back to okay i have this information i know where schools scores are at you'll also have your undergraduate gpa so schools will have their median scores and obviously the ideal is to be at or above both but if you fall below one you really want to be above the other to put yourself in the best position to obtain admission. And the further you are from either score, it does become increasingly more difficult to obtain admission. So when you're looking at the LSAT score, when it comes back, you also have to look at where your LSAT, where your undergraduate GPA is, and then really make that determination. Now I've seen a lot of people who will have, you know, solid scores and then go to take it again to try to have an increased scholarship opportunity, because keep in mind, Scores are tied to not just admission, but also to the financial aspects and to potential scholarships. But then I've seen people who will get a five or six point dip down. And that can be um, sometimes construed as a negative, like, okay, was that first time a fluke? You know, what happened there? So I think it's really important to think long and hard before you take another LSAT. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.